What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach with Android Digest and today I'm going to be giving you an updated review on the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. This is the 13.3 inch version. I have the version that's from Best Buy with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. There is a different version from Lenovo's website. That version does have less RAM so just keep in mind things do change even the types of models they offer and what specs they have. They may change a little bit over time and prices of course do vary. But with all that being said, I'm excited to give you an updated review on this tablet. Let's get it going. So a lot of you know if you've been watching my channel for a while, I talk a lot about Android tablets. And this right here, it's a Chromebook. It's a Chrome tablet. And a lot of you might be wondering why you should consider this over something like a Galaxy Tab. Well, this device does have a ton going for it. It starts out first off at $500, but it's been on sale. That's something that we really have to talk about. And it's been as low as $400. Not only that, but if you go to Best Buy when it's on sale, you you could go to the open box section you could see this with an open box excellent condition and I bought this for around $320 and not only has this device been that low in price but you have to remember that this device does come with a keyboard it's a 13 inch tablet with a detachable keyboard and this keyboard it is a very large keyboard it reminds me of a laptop keyboard now no the keys aren't backlit there's no super premium keyboard feel to it necessarily but if you compare this to other tablet keyboards like from the tab s8 or the tab s8 plus or even the tab s8 ultra the travel on this keyboard is so much better this keyboard is one of the best detachable keyboards that i've ever used out of any tablets another thing that makes this tablet a great value is the eight years of software updates now technically that's eight years from when the device originally was manufactured or originally released so no, if you buy this four years from now, you're not going to get eight years of updates from that day. But still, if you're out there on the market now, you should still be getting seven to eight years of updates. You will get good, good software support. And that's a huge thing when you're considering this tablet. Remember that even the best Android tablets on the market are only getting four years of software support. They're only getting four big operating system updates. And that's on the Galaxy tablets that are available, like the Galaxy Tab S8 or the S8 Plus. But but guess what? That device costs twice as much. You're going to have to pay over $800, of course, to get something like the S8 Plus. Even when it's on sale, you might find it for $700, at least at this time. You're not going to find it for a super deal like you're going to find for this. So there's a lot to like when you're looking at this tablet. But now I want to talk about the individual parts of this tablet, right? If we look at the design of this tablet, you'll see, of course, you have this kickstand and stuff. So I know that's not technically the tablet, but but it does come with it. It's pretty darn cool. It just magnetizes to the back. You get this beautiful color on the back of this tablet. Another nice thing about this tablet, of course, you have speakers on both sides of your tablet and you have a USB-C port on both sides of your tablet. I also connected this to a monitor and it did work great with the monitor. So it's really nice that you could actually charge this device from both sides. But not only that, if you are using your USB-C port, let's say you're using it to connect to a monitor, you do have that extra port and that's great that you could use that for charging now yes there are some decent bezels on this device I will say that there are bezels but remember the larger the bezels you find on the device you are going to actually have a larger keyboard that's going to give you more room for your wrist for example when you have it on the keyboard deck and if you look at this keyboard I'm telling you this is one of the best keyboards I've ever seen from a detachable device the travel on this it feels like a normal keyboard the keys feel very very good I get great tactile feedback when I'm using this keyboard and that is very very different than something like a galaxy tab those keys do have fairly shallow travel they do feel good but if you're using it on a desk it's very hard to get good travel on those keys but this it's very very different now yes it is a little bit thicker yes this is a 13 inch device but despite it being a little bit thicker and a little bit heavier than something like a galaxy tab keyboard 
card. I'm just so glad that they actually made this with more travel. That's so important to me. And it does, of course, magnetize right here. It magnetizes to the bottom of your tablet. It works good. And using this on your lap, by the way, it does also work pretty good on your lap because this kickstand, because it's a 13 inch device, the kickstand will be wide enough to where at least these edges here are gonna be able to sit comfortably on your lap. Of course, at this price range, you could find some Chromebooks with backlit keyboards. This keyboard is not backlit. But despite that, this is really a tablet, right? This isn't something that we should compare to every laptop out there because tablets have different things that make them unique, like an OLED display. You don't really see a good OLED display with great brightness on a Chromebook at $500. It's not very often you see that. And this tablet does have a bright 13.3 inch OLED display. Of course, the resolution is 1920 by 1080. It's got a 16 by nine aspect ratio. That's one of the things that some of you might not like. If you look at something like the HP Chromebook X2 that does have a different aspect ratio that's gonna make things a little bit taller so that you could do more scrolling, this device on one end is great for watching entertainment. It's great for watching movies because it does have that 16 by nine aspect ratio. So you're not gonna see a bunch of black bars when you're watching all this stuff. It's going to be very, very nice compared to some other devices. However, when you get to things like scrolling, because everything's a little wider, you're not going to be able to scroll. It's not going to be quite as vertical. The screen won't be. So that is one downfall. You might not like that aspect ratio. Some of you prefer a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, and some of you like that three by two aspect ratio. But honestly, that's a super minor thing in my opinion. And at least this is great for entertainment. And because this device is so big, I can see plenty on the screen, so the aspect ratio does not bother me that much. Now the performance. This is a very interesting thing because this device, it performs very, very well. And if you compare this to other devices, I get the benchmarks aren't great on this device. In fact, the benchmarks on this are like half of what you would find on these newer Galaxy tabs, right? So it is about half the speed. And that might be alarming to you, the fact that your phone or a Galaxy tab could be double the speed of this. And when you think about laptops with an i3 or an i5 processor, those devices, of course, will be like double the speed of this or even more. So you might be wondering, man, why should I buy this device? But I can have three, four, five, six tabs of Chrome open on this device. And because this is running Chrome OS, Chrome OS is so buttery smooth and everything is very, very well optimized. And when I was using Chrome OS on this, it was just really nice. Like I did not experience a lot of lag and hiccups, even when I'm using the gestures and I'm navigating around using those navigation gestures even when the keyboard is not attached, I was having a very smooth experience with this tablet. Now, if you do go on a heavy duty website that really takes a ton to load, of course it could slow down a little bit. And you do have to remember that this does not have a 90 or 120 hertz refresh rate. That's one thing you need to keep in mind with the display. So of course it's not gonna be quite as smooth when you're scrolling if you do compare this to a Galaxy Tab like the Tab S7 or the Tab S8. But we have to remember the price. Again, in. This is like half the price of the Tab S8 Plus, so you have to keep that in mind. No, it doesn't have that 90 hertz refresh rate. No, the resolution isn't quite as good as a Galaxy Tab, but when you look at performance, and I'm using this day to day, I don't really notice a significant gap in my day to day usage between this and a Galaxy Tab. Now, I admit, if you do go to a game, let's say you go to try to play a very intensive game, of course, an intense game might require that extra extra power, and maybe you're gonna to have to play a game on lower settings. Another thing that might happen, if you're using something like video editing, maybe a Galaxy Tab could video edit with some of those apps in 4K, and maybe you're not gonna be able to edit in 4K at least as smoothly on this tablet. So yes, if you are someone that's doing some super intensive stuff, this definitely has some disadvantages, of course, from those $800 Android tablets. But despite that, in my day-to-day -day use, even if I'm 
comparing this to a Chromebook with an i3 processor or other devices. I just felt that this was a very, very smooth device. I absolutely loved the performance and I wasn't dreading using this device. A lot of times when you use a slower Chromebook, you could really, really wish that you had a better device. I wasn't feeling that pressure when I was using this. It just felt really, really fast and really, really good. Now, one other thing I want to talk about is this fabric cover. Now, I mentioned the keyboard and I showed you the design, but I didn't mention how it's fabric and I really do like this fabric. I really like how it feels. It feels nice. But the one thing you're going to find, especially with longer use, is that you are putting this fabric down on your kitchen counter. You may put this fabric down on your couch. You may have kids that run around and are chewing on things. And next thing you know, you could get stuff on the fabric. So right here on my fabric, you could see that there is something right here, okay? I do have this little thing. I have no idea what this is, but I just found this morning that there was something on my tablet. It's the first time I've seen something on it yet. And I was a little bit bummed, but guess what? I just rubbed it off and I just used my fingernail and I just gently rub on it. And look at that, it's pretty much all gone. So you see this device, even though it does have a fabric cover, I will say that this fabric is very resistant, it seems like, to foods or other things. And even if you accidentally get stuff on it, I do feel like this fabric is going to endure. Now the speakers aren't super loud, okay? They are average at best. I wish they were a little bit better. And the webcam, I don't expect much, right? This is a device that really isn't gonna have a great webcam. And the one thing that really differentiates this device is the battery life. I was using this device the other day and I used it, enjoyed it, put it away. And then when I went back to it the next day, I was shocked that the battery maybe lost one or 2%. It barely lost any battery. So the standby drain on this battery is not bad at all. I was able to quickly wake this tablet up and get to work. There is not a fingerprint sensor on it. So I really do prefer to just put in the setting that allows me to easily access it after sleep. So the fact that I could go to my tablet after sleep Sleep, instantly wake it up and find that the battery is great that is a huge relief and it's a great thing so the battery life will last plenty of time on this I would argue it could last even 10 hours or even 11 hours the battery endurance on this tablet is so good so when I look at this tablet and I compare it to the tablet landscape and I look at how good this tablet really is. I would say that this tablet is very, very strong and it's very, very competitive, especially at this $400 price range. You might compare this tablet to the HP Chromebook X2. I've seen that tablet as low as $300. That device has a 2K screen and that device has a fingerprint sensor, but that device does not have an OLED display. The keyboard is way worse on that tablet. Not only is it way worse, but I was consistently getting accidental trackpad clicks just by resting my palms on the keyboard deck. So that's a huge issue with that keyboard. Plus that device is again only 11 inches. It's not OLED. So when you compare that to this device, now keep in mind that HP is a great deal. If you want a smaller and lighter tablet, I would still recommend that, right? But this tablet right here, it does have an updated Gen 2 processor, the HP only only has a Gen 1 processor, so this is slightly faster. It also has OLED, and it has a huge keyboard with a lot of travel. And even if you're worried about price, you could always get it open box. Now, if you compare this to something like a Galaxy Tab, yes, the Galaxy Tabs do have some advantages. They are gonna work a little bit better with intense stuff like 4K video editing. They are gonna work a little bit better with things like intensive games. All of those things are true. But this tablet, it does come with the keyboard. You could find it again for about half the price of the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus. You're gonna get more updates on this device. It's gonna be a little bit longer lasting. And in my opinion, Chrome OS is better than Samsung DeX. This does have a desktop version of Chrome, and that does mean that you can run extensions. Extensions do have a lot of power. There's a lot of extensions that I like to use, for example. So I do love that about it. Also, the desktop version of Chrome, in my opinion, it does have more features. It's a little bit better. So this does run a better version of Google Chrome, but you do still have access to those Android Android apps. So I do overall think that this device has more flexibility. I really do like a lot about it. 
But of course, it's not gonna have as good of a screen as those Galaxy tabs. It's not gonna have as good of a refresh rate as the Tab S7 or the Tab S8 or the Tab S8 Plus or any of those devices. But even then, I will say that you have to consider who you are. Of course, if you want the best tablet, I would recommend Galaxy tablets over this. The Tab S8 Plus is going to be better than this device. There's no doubt about it. But would I buy this over the Tab S6 Lite? Absolutely. Are there still issues with this? Yes, I do find there's still minor issues. There's still little, little bugs in this device and I don't know when they're gonna fix those type of things. But despite that, those bugs don't really affect my daily usage with this device. And if I'm comparing it to other devices at this price range, I would say this is one of the best tablets you're gonna get for this price and it's gonna be a lot better for productivity. The keyboard's gonna be better than a lot of tablets at this price range. But on the other end, if you're looking at something like the Chromebook Duet, if you want a smaller tablet, the Chromebook Duet, the 11 inch version that's coming soon, that will be better because it's a little more portable and it's gonna be a little bit lighter. The Galaxy Tab S7, maybe you'll find it on a sale. And again, that device will be a little smaller, a little more portable, but it will have a little bit more power and maybe that's something that interests you. Or if you look at something like the S8 Plus, that device is the best of the best. And if you want the best of the best, again, that device is for you. And if you're a cheapskate, right? Maybe you're that person that wants to spend the smallest amount of money, but you still want a Chrome OS tablet and you want a smaller, lighter tablet. The HP Chromebook X2 is great for those people. But this device has a great place in the market. If you're someone who wants a larger tablet out there, you want a great keyboard, you want great software support, but you don't wanna spend $800. This device is gonna be terrific. The performance in day-to-day -day usage, the performance when you're using Google Chrome and just doing stuff in Google Docs, the performance when you're just using some basic Android apps, I do believe the performance is gonna be very similar to something like a more expensive Galaxy Tab. I don't think you're gonna significantly notice a difference in your day-to-day -day stuff. Of course, the intense stuff you will, but for those of you who want a bargain, who want to save money, even now, over time, with a lot of updates that have happened, I could strongly recommend this Lenovo Chromebook Duet. This just has a tremendous keyboard. I love the case. I love that it comes with this keyboard for such a low price. And if you find this device on sale, if you find it for $400, if you find it for cheaper, if you find it open box around this price, I would highly recommend the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5. Now, I do want to mention, I did not, I did not, get paid for this review, no one sent this to me, and in fact, I don't really have a lot of good affiliate links for this. I just have a Best Buy affiliate link. So there's not a lot of reasons that I made this video outside of just trying to help my audience. I wanted to give you good advice and help you really find a good tablet to meet your needs. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. That would definitely help me out and I would be happy to respond and really answer any questions you have. And also use those links in the description. Even though I don't have a lot, even though I probably won't get paid much of anything for them, I may get paid some commission if you do use my affiliate links and that does help to support my channel. And finally, if you want to watch any other videos, I did review this tablet before. I did review it initially. I did give it a fairly good review. You could check that out. You could check out some other videos on the Galaxy tabs if you're interested in that. And keep tuned to my channel because I will be reviewing the Lenovo Chromebook Duet, the 11 inch version coming soon. So give me a like, give me a sub. Thank you Thank you so much for your support and I hope you have a tremendous day and a tremendous week.